Good afternoon, everyone. I am the uh, head teacher of Latin Crab Presbyterian Primary Section. Our school has been an old school which has been uh, established more than a hundred years. And uh, the strength of our students is uh, more than a, a thousand plus. But in the primary section, there are 403 students from nursery to class five. Teachers who are teaching in the primary section comprises of 15 teachers. At the beginning of the year, I have experienced and gone for a training conducted by the DERT in which we have learned about the learning outcomes. Uh, we have come back to school and started to introduce these learning outcomes which has helped a lot in the teaching learning process because our work now is more organized and systematic and we can uh, follow the learning outcomes step by step class wise which is helping us uh, without skipping any step uh, towards the learning outcomes that we have to teach the different classes now regarding the plc's we have also had many plc's right from 2019 and we have uh, followed them diligently and these plc's have also helped in um, establishing the cooperation the uh, teamwork amongst the teachers now this year we have also changed the assessment system of the school we have started with the uh, formative and the submittive assessment and that will uh, of course help the students in regard towards the no detention policy we have uh, been uh, following uh, the formative assessment uh, assessing it uh, 40 marks and the submittive for 60 marks and with the 40 marks we expect the students that they won't fail anymore in the exam but I am sure that they will uh, go to the next class without any problem because daily assessment is being done in the classroom regarding their homework their classwork and worksheets are given oral questions will be given and i think that this will help the students to uh, go easily to the next class without being detained now in our school due to lack of space but we somehow managed to have many extra co-curricular activities which includes the signing of uh, names regarding the no tobacco world day and uh, the portion pakwanda also is being followed we also have sports uh, from time to time though we have to get another field uh, near the near the school because we don't have a, a school playground every year the school would uh, organize a school week which will help students to develop in different qualities that they have such as singing dancing and other performance and activities that students like to do we usually have the school exhibition also especially the science exhibition which in the previous years uh, our school has uh, uh, come up right to the state level and national level as well and this has helped the students in going outside of the state in order to perform the exhibition we also take our students for field trips that also is very educational they can learn a lot of things when they interact with nature we usually uh, take our students also for the inter-school uh, competition such as sports uh, painting drawing and other kinds of activities when we are being called conducted by the different organizations or schools environment day also is always observed in the school where we organize programs like painting drawing and poster uh, making by our students 
Now there is always a cleaning drive uh, twice or thrice a year which will inculcate in the students the civic sense so that they will learn to keep their locality, their homes and their school clean. And uh, we always celebrate Children's Day as well every year in order to make our students happy. Now Earth Day is also being observed in the school. Now uh, if you come and visit our school, you will see that we also have bulletin boards, one by the higher secondary, another by the secondary and also by the primary section. And we display different motivational thoughts or uh, any day, uh, for example, Environment Day, Earth Day, uh, is always being displayed on the bulletin board. Now recently, the school has competed in the many inter-school competitions such as the essay writing competition, Earth Day, uh, painting competition, the drawing competition on World Day, the inter-school debate competition, we recently won the painting competition conducted by the NIPCO on energy conservation. And then we've also won the Taekwondo State competition organized by the Meghalaya Taekwondo Association. Now we hope that we will uh, keep on uh, improving in all works of uh, the school because we are still in the process of moving forward we expect that uh, we will uh, be able to achieve more with the cooperation and the teamwork of the teachers and also their sincerity and punctuality and regularity of the teachers thank you so much